Artois Phil is your absentee, won last year by the mighty Duvan. Again, €115,000 on total prize money. Two, Bailey Cloud. David Mullins, three, Baldark. Brian Cooper, four, Bally O'Sheen is Mark Walsh. Five, Great Field, so flamboyant. Jody McGarvey, six, Ordinary World is the Mount of Davy Russell. Powers Bomb, number seven, Mikey Fogarty. Eight, Townsend, Ruby Walsh. And the filly, the Robin de Champ filly. Listen, dear, for Willie Mullins and Paul Townend is number nine, Tom Lee. Yeah, this Great Field, one of the most exciting horses currently in training, but he takes a few chances. It's a white-knuckle ride if you back him around about evens and the money coming in with the risks he takes uh, for the likes of Bulldark. Excellent placed effort at Berry House in the Ryanair Novice Chase uh, just a few days ago. Also Ordinary World, look at his form. Third in the Arkell at the Cheltenham Festival. So good horses in opposition here. It's not going to be straightforward for Jody McGarvey. For starters, he's got to keep the unison intact because obviously, great field. He is a horse who likes to uh, put in some flamboyant leaps. If that's his undoing, money coming for the likes of Ordinary World at Bulldark. But great field, rock solid, evens. Bailey Cloud is the first we're going to look at, and uh, he's got his ground here. He, I thought he was he ran a real good race. He was running well when he fell behind uh, York Hill at Cheltenham. He's been to Ferry House since then, and he wasn't beaten too far by Road to Respect. There's a good one in him, but uh, here, well, he's 20 to 1. He's up against one or two. Three is Baldark. He's been a model of consistency all right through the season. He was third in that race to Road to Respect, and second to Bally Casey in a good race before that, and he won before that when he beat Gangster. Uh, he's a right good tough horse deserves a big one as well too Bally Oshin has won plenty of races but he's also uh, hit the ground on a couple of occasions three out last time behind Bell Dark at Navan and he was also fuller at Fairy House back at the beginning of January good winner in between at Fairy House well if you think going to Sue is exciting to watch you want to watch this for a great field because he goes some gallop and he lets fly Jody McGarvey gets on great with him the only time he makes a mistake is when he looks like he's won and Jody takes it a bit steady but he Puts up a fair We've got a couple of big ones to show oh. you, Ted, in a minute. It's, he, 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 yeah. he can rattle and roll, and Jody goes with him. Six is Ordinary World. Uh, he looks at home, at home over a fence. He's by Milan out of a presenting mare. Really good effort last time out at Cheltenham when he was third uh, behind Altio. That was big business. Powers Bomb has been very consistent all season. Jamie rode him when he was fourth at Tully East in a good race at Cheltenham. Uh, Mikey Fogarty rode him when he bet him. Looked like winning, made a mistake. Elusive Ivy beat him at Leperstown. Uh, but he's an exciting horse. So just thinking maybe out of his depth here against these, maybe not. And Tangent is a, an interesting runner. Made all the running last time out at Nace and was a good winner at Perth as well. But in between was second to Ballyoshin. So uh, he's an 8-1 to one shot and Ruby rides him. And nine is, listen, dear, she's been a great money spinner all year. She She'd won six, five or six of them off the trot. She's a game, bouncy little mare. But she ran no sort of race at Nace on very heavy ground behind slow motion. So if she can put that behind her, she's in with a shout again. Was down at the start and uh, it won't be long before they're off. Great field, Ted was saying he was how spectacular he was. And my goodness, he uh, it, was a, it was a fabulous race at Leopardstown. We saw uh, Jody and he stay, the partnership stayed in part. They've won all three starts um, over fences and he's exciting. JPW represented. Uh, Great field has the white cap and, and um, Balioshi, the green cap with the white star. Here is to us. So, it'll be exciting, it'll be quick. Richard Pugh, interesting race to come. Just taking a turn. Plenty of prize money here as well, 115 being spread about. Andy, you down there? Yeah, so... Baliyoshin is after getting a kick from Bailey Cloud. Bailey Cloud acting up a little bit. He kicked the railing again afterwards. So Baliyoshin is just the far side of the last fence here. He's getting examined by the Turf Club vets. He looks fairly sound to me, so I'd imagine he will take part. But they're just trotting him up a few times to make sure. This is going to be fly by the seat of your pants stuff. There's about five of them who have made it previously, and all of them are lining up to buck out. But I would imagine of those, that Jody McGarvey on Great Field will be the one going the strongest, and he'll probably make a run. 
that's it. We're off and racing in the Ryanair Novice Chase today. One contest over two miles. God's own Underso and Duvan, the last three winners. What have we got this time around? It's going to be Great Field who leads them along. No surprise there. Ordinary World is second. Powers Bomb is on the outside of Listen Dear Bull. Dark is close behind them. Towns End towards the inside. Baliashi last but one. And Bailey Cloud will be the last to rise over fence number one, which is on the climb away from the stands. They'll shortly turn right handed into the side of the track. But over in front, Great Field just leans off to his left as they all land safely over the first ball dark just landed a little flat foot over it but heading right handed towards the second great field has already gone on by four to five lengths or so to ordinary world in second powers bomb is third town's end racing quite keenly down the inside and four listen dear stable companion towards the outside as the leader gets a flyer over that one behind these is bally ushing who's on the outside of ball dark and the back marker is bailey cloud so now they head down the hill making their way towards fence number three the first of the ditches and great field is out in front opening up from Powers Bomb in second Ordinary World to third as they make their way down the hill shortly levelling off behind these in four Listen Deers on the outside of Town's End further back to Bally Oshin Ball Dark towards the back of the field on the inside and none behind Bailey Cloud so now the first of the ditch is at Great Field he's over not always pretty, but he's still on his feet as they go now towards fence number four. Great field. Going to lead them out over it from Ordinary World and Powers Bomb. Just behind them is Bally Ushin as the leader takes that one. They're being chased by Townsend, Listen, Deer, Bold, Dark and the back marker, Bailey Cloud. So into the back straight they go. And in front, it is Great Field with Jody McGarvey aboard, this six times winner from Powers Bomb and Mikey Fogarty. They're being chased by Ordinary World and Davy Russell, who's third. Behind these, down the inside, the pink jacket of Ruby Walsh on Townsend. End. On the outside is Bally Ushin, the Mount of Mark Walsh, further back to Listen Deer and Paul Townend. And comes Paul Dark and Brian Cooper aboard. And towards the back of the field. Bally Ushin was awkward over that one, none more so than Bailey Cloud. Hit it hard, he's getting detached under David Mullins. So heading midway across the far side, seven furlongs ahead of them. And middle one of three along the back. Great field gets a flyer from Powers Bomb, Bally Ushin, Ordinary World. Townsend is next. They're being chased by Listen Deer, three furlongs back to Bailey Cloud, uh, to Paul Dark and a break to Bailey Cloud. Now they head on towards the ditch and in front it is Great Field who leads them over from in second. Powers Bomb Bally Ushin and Townsend has gone there. Townsend out of it. Ruby Walsh sitting up already as they make their way now towards the bend that's going to bring them down along the side of the track with four to jump and it's Great Field who has the advantage by three to four lengths or so being chased by Powers Bomb who's quite close in second now. Getting closer in fact. Then Ordinary World down the inside. Bally Ushin getting into it eye-catchingly in, in fourth rather. Then comes Listen, dear, Paul Dark is next, and Bailey Cloud, the back marker, heading now towards four from home, and it is Great Field who's going to rise to it in front from Powers Bomb. Ordinary World, Bally Ushin, three, four. Listen, dear, next, another good jump. The leader, when he's good, he's very good. Heading towards the third last, the gap is widening again. Great Field has Powers Bomb in second. Ordinary World down the inside, Bally Ushin wider out. Listen, dear, is also wide. Paul Dark ridden along and a break to Bailey Cloud. This is the third from home before they turn in, and it's Great Field again, good in front. Powers Bomb got close to it. Bally Ushin now going to try and go in pursuit on the outside. Then Ordinary World and they're being chased by Listen Deer. Paul Dark is galloping on behind them as they make their way towards home. They've two to jump in the Ryanair Novice Chase and it is Great Field. The JP McManus first silks from the second silks of Bally Ushin in second. Ordinary World is third. Then Listen Deer is out wide. Powers bombs between them and Paul Dark boxing away on the inside. They're spreading out wide. Great Field over the second last. Oh he got tight. He's still in front. Ordinary World is second. Listen Deer the near side. They're being chased by Paul Dark heading now towards the final fence and it's Great Field he's travelling strongly in front from Ordinary World at the last Great Field no problems there from in second Ordinary World Paul Dark is next we lost Bally Ushin almost took down did take down Bailey Cloud but Great Field another clear round a few scares but some very good ones as well Jody McGarvey JP McManus and one for Willie Mullins it is Great Field who wins Ordinary World is second Paul Dark is third Listen Deer is four Powers Bomb is the fifth and final finisher but this one goes to Great Field he's a bit of a thrill a minute when he's good he's very good not too many big scares today, a few little ones, but the favourite obliges. All, all jockeys up. Well done, Jody McGarvey. All the lads delighted for Jody. His first grade one win, and what a cheery ride he gave him, because this is a horse that takes a bit of rocking and rolling. He goes down there, he stands at the wings, and when he gallops on, I'm delighted for him. This man learned his trade off of Christy Roach there, working with Christy, rides a lot of horses for JP, and the great man that Frank and JP are, they stuck with him, because, I mean, uh, Barry is the number one jockey, he's out of action, Mark Walsh is number two, but Jody has ridden this horse when he won an novice chase at Gordon, when he won at Leperstown, when he won 
won a Turles and they have left him on him and he's had his biggest win to date. Wonderful result uh, for the man on board. Everybody will be absolutely delighted for Jody McGarvey. He's a lovely fella, game as a gander and let this horse rock and roll. And he got onto the second last, he says, go on, he says there, wing it, away he goes again, not too high. And Davy Russell hard at him and again at the last he meets his spot on. Met a couple of them there and he needed a good lap but he's full of horse. He's a classy horse, this fella, a classy horse. Go on again, whoa quicker the last again there. The only time he sacked quite them one day at Lepperstown, which I normally would do if you're 10 or 12 in front, he nearly unshipped him. So he makes his mind up from now and he's gone to the line like an absolute train. Three winners for JP on the day but this fella by far the most impressive. Two miler, this fella could be a champion chaser sometime Robert. Isn't it lovely to see a horse just, you know, not checked, just oh, yeah. every, every every time Jody looked look for it, he and, gave and, it and he responded. Yeah. Look at him. He ran at Cheltenham last year after winning and he pulled up, you know me? Tracy. He won 11 lengths. Yeah. Yes, I've just caught up with Willie here and uh, it was fairly hairy. Yeah. I don't know if I'd like to be on board him, but my goodness, he won well in the end, didn't he? He's a young man's right, I think. Yes, I think so. But what are you jo- trying to say, Willie? <laughs> <laughs> Jody is... Um, but Jody loves him. I mean, he just... He meets they him. really get on, don't they? Yeah, and he... He asks them the big question every time, and it comes up for him, you know. So, he, and they're getting better as they go along, you know. They, there was no real scare today, I think. And he's still unbeaten. That's right. Yeah, he's a, he's a horse with a huge engine. Had his wind problems. We got his wind done. I don't know, once or twice maybe. And he's not exactly to, to listen to him going around our gallop. You'd wonder would he ever race. Yeah. But when when he get once he gets out on a, um, a straight track and he just straightens out. It seems to be a clear run through his wind anyhow. He just again. loves to go at a cracking pace, doesn't he? He does, yeah, yeah. he does. And yeah. a first grade one for Jody McGarvey, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, great week for, I think, JP as well. He's just, oh, yeah. he's having a fantastic week, so, and, uh, you know, so. Still two more days to go. <laughs> vroom, vroom, Annie. It's going to be, uh, Annie won't run. She's, she's not going to run. Uh, she's not running, she's just not sparking at home. And um, I haven't had a chance to t- chat to the owner yet, uh, so we'll see what, what we're going to do is she's in full to Camelot and um, you know she's she seems she seems fine in herself uh, but not sparking in her work and I just thought if she's not going to do that I wasn't going to run her you know Willie well done we'll be talking again soon soon. thanks yeah, we're going to save at the moment when Jodie comes back in. But uh, Willie said they're getting better, and it is a learning experience for the horse. Great field. Ted, I just want to show you a couple of little mistakes in big mistakes. We let's let's let, let's face it. Leopard's time. Watch this. This is fascinating. Yeah, this is is, is the is the last fence. You know, he, he hits Jodie up the rear end here, and Jodie does well to stay on him. Stumbles at the back of it. Jodie's nearly mm-hmm. off him there. Now the horse jumped at Ari. He just stumbled at the back of it, and Jodie nearly got sent out of the saddle. He done well. Hit him. You're at speed there. I mean, if you're ever at speed or something, and something just gives you a knock, it's very easy to knock you out of the saddle. But Jody did well. Well done. This is a Turles. Mm. He goes to steady him here. Look at him. He dives straight out through it as well, too. So Jody says, I'm not going to steady anymore. <laughs> Drop your head, give you a kick in the belly, and let you make look your own mind up. Look how far he is ahead. Oh, he's a distance. Uh, and, the second horse, and the second horse won after that. Yeah. The second horse on that occasion won. Oh, yeah. Well, I tell Please. you, he will be on his way into the winner's enclosure in jig time. Let's hope he's coming uh, down the chute. And uh, there we have uh, the, who fell at the second last now. That was Ballyoshin. That's Ballyoshin, uh, Mark Walsh. But this is our winner, Jody and Great Field for Willie Mullins. We can ha- have a look at the page. He's a son of Great Pretender, who's a son of King's Theatre. And uh, they normally like this good ground. This fellow has done it on every type of ground now and uh, is a real talent who doesn't like to be checked, likes to boss it on, all the way. And uh, Jody coming back, having won this grade one, his first grade one, the Ryan end of his steeplechase. And he will enjoy every moment of it, and so will the crowd as well. Marvellous. everyone well done JP as well and the difference now we understand is around 167 two days to go the trainers championship up for grabs (laughs) 
sharp looking horse, isn't he? You know, he's a great head in him, this horse. Great pretend. This horse. Oh, that was exciting to watch. Great field. Four now on the bounce. That's seven from nine. Great field. Well done to Jody McGarvey. It was a case of a goodbye starter. Hello, Judge. Beautiful to watch over the fences. Eleven lengths to official winning margin in the Ryanair Novice Chase for Willie Mullins. That's a three on the day for owner J.P. McManus. The ten to nine on favourite was eleven to ten against on track. Second Ordinary World, seven to one. And third number three, Ball Dark at eleven to two, of course. The sire, great pretender, a son of King's Theatre. He 14 to 1 great field for next year's Queen Mother Champion Chase. Well, I tell you what, that was some day's racing, wasn't it? It was a brilliant and, day's racing. Yeah.